Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking into getting some electric craft power. Uh, we're going to be turning our rotocraft power, which is coming from our nuclear reactor, the high temperature gas reactor, and we're going to be turning it into electric craft power and back into rotocraft power. So first thing we're going to make is the uh, induction motors. Now these ones turn it back into rotary craft. Um, I'm planning on making two and uh, so we're gonna make uh, what's this one first I forgot this one. Uh, yeah we're making some gold coils and what they are is you can either use uh, gold or electrum. I've used electrum because it takes one gold one silver and you get two of them so it's one way of uh, saving resources as if you want to use silver and they're made by just putting a HSL steel ingot in the center and then on the outside put the electrum ingots or gold and you get coils okay and to make the induction motor you're going to need some silver some copper a shaft core which is a uh, two shafts and one ingot in the center so it's pretty easy to make two base panels you go to the workbench, put the base panels in the corners, the bottom, put the gold cores uh, middle uh, on either side, put the shaft unit on in the center, put uh, two copper at the bottom, we'll just well, copper at the bottom, copper at the top, and the remaining slots are silver. And it gets us our two, what am I missing there? Uh, two coils and a shaft unit, aren't I? Oops, I was supposed to make them. Hmm. Okay, well I guess I can make that now. Not there. Not there. Uh no. Okay, so eight gold. We've got enough silver. We got silver somewhere. Let's go and cook that up first. And while that's cooking up, uh just take the stuff out and make something else I guess for the time being. We'll make the, the thing that turns it into electric car power, the induction generator. So you're going to need copper, some tin, a piece of steel, a ferrous ingot, uh, three base panels, an impeller. You're also going to need uh, two gold coils and a shaft core. And you need to get these uh, two gold coils, the shaft core there. Oh, actually, wrong table, this one. Just need a crafting table for this one. Coil on either side, and where to put that shaft core? There. That gets us our generator. Okay, then back to the work table. Generator in the center, and I've so totally forgot. No, it's impeller on the left side, ferrous there, and it is three base panels. Okay, no, uh, tin. Copper steel. Yes, there we go. Induction generator. Okay, let's see if that's finished cooking up. This is. Now we'll make the make gold. Make sure that's silver. Induction smelter should get us ow. Should get us ow. Ferris, as you can see. Not ferris. Two. Hurry up machine. Do, 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 do. That's not copyright material, is it? What song is that from? Anyway, uh, electro ingots, there we go. And we're gonna need two HSL steel ingots, yep, uh, there we go. In the center, we're on the outside. There we go. On the side. Base panel, you know what? I've just totally had it, forgotten how to make this now. Copper, copper, shaft core, silver, silver. Uh, silver, silver, copper, copper. 
And I didn't make that shaft core, did I? Shaft unit. Steel. There we go. And ta-da! There we go. Two induction motors and one induction generator. Now we're going to need to make uh, some cabling. As you can see, you've got a variety. Each one has a maximum amperage it can uh, hold before melting and each of them also have a voltage loss over meter so for example copper here has a uh, voltage loss of two volts per meter and silver only has one <clears throat> I've already got plenty of silver so I'm gonna go with silver instead of copper uh, silver also has a higher uh, amperage it can hold as well which would be good because we're putting it next to a reactor which should output a lot of power. So it's just uh, three silver in the middle. And as you can see, um, it will make a ins uninsulated wire, um, which is pretty much dangerous. You can imagine why if you touch it, uh, it will hurt. It will throw you back, which is hilarious. But just so we don't kill ourselves, uh, we're gonna make some insulated wire. Let's make 16, get a fair bit. Okay, let's, have I got my tools? Yes, I think I've got the tools. So I'm making about 900 million at the moment. Gonna get our induction generator, place it down, uh, blue, I mean green, duh, green is input of course, so, are you telling me I can't switch this around, with the tool? Electrocraft hasn't got a tool yet, has it? Hmm, it needs a tool. Unless I'm doing something stupid. Okay. Did I just find a bug? I think I might have found a bug. Mm, no. Does this generate? Okay, that's weird. Hopefully this is still what I think it is. No, you're not supposed to turn that way. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. And that there is steam. I'm not going to be able to get that, am I? Ow, ow. There we go. <coughs> now the reactor's going to mess up because the steam's coming out. Uh, no. How is that steam being held there by a torch? This is not going well. Ow. There we go. Let's see if I can stand. Don't get too close, I'm going to die if I go in there. Okay, converter. Okay, you're just being a jerk. Okay, cheat mode. Okay. Did I mention this is the first release of this mod uh, version, I should say? Uh, okay. Induction generator. Ow. Actually, no, not ow. I'm actually quite. I'm still okay. However, I think the turbine got damaged there. I'll cheat. I'll repair that later. Okay, just walking this time, not f flying like a Gumby. Nope. You, sir, have placed the wrong way. Okay, there we go. What are we doing now? 300 million watts. I'm going to have to repair that later. How much damage should I do there? Uh, I think most of the blades are there. Yeah. Okie dokie, that's weird, and now I've used those, I can just go to that, yep. Okay, now I'm going to go place some cables down. As you can see it says point volt zero and current amp zero, that is because, um, 
like an electric circuit, you need um, you need somewhere for the electricity to go to. Oops. For it to actually um. Okay, so let's go around the outside. For it to flow through the circuit. Okay. I want to replace this one because this machine relies on the system working. If I want to change the system, this one will stop working. Uh, okay, there we go. As you can see, it does periodically have a point where it's got no coil on it, which is sort of worrying since, since if this runs out of water, oh, boom. Okay, so I will get rid of this one out of the way and quickly build the system before everything explodes. Okay, do, do. No. There we go. Um, like that. Okay, there we go. And there we go. It should have power going through it. And it has maximum voltage of 524,000. Uh, and the amperage is about 900. So if I'm correct in thinking that. Uh, Essentially, this thing should output, uh, what is it? So you get your voltage, you divide the voltage by eight, and that will give you the um, rads a second. And with the current, you essentially times it by eight. Oh God, I'm gonna have to look at this again. Um, where's my tool? What speed we're gonna, uh, I mean, what's the 65,000 rads? That's the maximum speed anyway. Uh, 471 million. Well, that's a lot of power. Okay. Just trying to think whether or not it's rads that get divided all the times. Um, there's amperage. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, the. The current, the amperage, you essentially divide the amount of torque and you get amperage. You know what? I'm getting confused. I'm confusing myself and I need to do other stuff, aren't I? Okay, so we've got that one working and we're gonna move this torch, put it somewhere else. Uh, F7, am I missing any spots? Any zombie spots? Nope. Okay. Over. Okay, as you can see, this thing's running off a coil, which will run that power soon. And when it stops pulling the heat out of the reactor, well, we're gonna have an explosion, so we don't want that. Um, okay. Okay, let's see. This coil is gonna be facing the wrong way, isn't it? Yep. Okay, and it turns into a weird converter too cheat mode. Okay, I'm going to have to go up and over. Okay. Alright. Uh, converter. There we go. Cables. Did those cables just disappear as well? Oh dear. I'm not having a good day. Okay, we're to craft gas stock to gas stocks. Uh, okay, there we go. Hope I can rebuild. Okay, gas stock there. Uh, I should also mention you should definitely update because uh, gas ducts and pipes work much better now. Okay, that should be right. Uh, the system should be getting... What's the temperature? So that's right. Okay. Yeah, amperage 400. Uh, volt should stay the same. Amperage will get... Um, Divided by two if you've got set so one K we're going into two each one will split the amperage. So that's right. So that's How much power we're getting through here now? Where's my tool? 
230, that's a lot of power for a pump. Oh well, we'll start. Let's put, okay, four, ow, that's a lot of power we've lost from just accidentally stepping into the react, uh, to the, um, blades. That's not good. Yeah, I'll repair that later. Anyway guys, that's, uh, that's, that's how, I'm not, actually no, that's not how you do it. Um, that's how it's, it sort of works. Don't step into uh, uh, blades. That's one thing you shouldn't do. Um, try and place these things down in the right direction first off. Apparently the, the screwdriver doesn't work on them yet, or it's not supposed to. Yeah. There we go. I suppose until next time, guys. Um, yeah. Nah. <laughs>